We last left our heroes with Sunflower and Brother Methuselah going over a plan to stop the spiders, Pope and Damien trying to start a fire with Carrot, Damien actually setting a fire with rocks provided by Peach and burning his pants, more a plan discussing, Opalus going to Clooney to train to be a barbarian, scary story that made Kill Cooney piss himself, and yeah, um, Sunflower had made anti-venom and healing tonics, going a tad bit crazy, um, due to lack of sleep, and that that's that's pretty much what happened. Yep. Ye. Um, <clears throat> as we left off our our intrepid heroes, uh, it was nighttime, and as you hear um the sounds of the morning, the first thing that you guys smell in the morning is breakfast, and you smell it in the air. Baked croissant, smell fish in the air. Just general good brekkie stuff as the morning creeps along. Uh, you guys slowly wake up to the wonderful smells of breakfast. So, how about it? What are you doing? Uh, breakfast. Yeah. Oh, this layout's messed up. Turkey. Mm-hmm. Has it been two days yet? Uh, let's see. I believe this is the morning of after we came back. Okay, so we came back yesterday then. Yeah. This okay. is the morning of the second day. Okay, well, I guess I'm just going to gather some food and go out to eat with my new friend. Gathering some food for them as well. <laughs> Vince is going to grab just something real quick, and he's going to ask around to see if I can figure out where a shop could be. Merchants. Yes. I'm probably waking up from working on Onyx all night. Probably going to lazily go to breakfast, but after washing up. Okay. <clears throat> Um, Rio, yes. uh, Miss Sunflower, you, uh, slowly drag yourself from your working area, Froggy, from, uh, trying to make sure, uh, building tonics, trying to make sure your friends don't die on you. Yes. <clears throat> you slowly make yourself over to the large w- water basin as you, like, splash your face and wake yourself up and wash your hands. The water is ice cold, so the second it hits your Ugh. face, it is it is quite the shock. Ugh. So you're, like, instantly awake. I'm awake, I'm awake. <sighs> Don't sound awake. Hey, not in real life. <laughs> I'm still having <clears throat> Um, And while while you're there, uh, you, as you're, like, washing your and everything, trying to make sure they're nice and clean, you notice something on the ground. <clears throat> Does somebody leave something? What is no. it? See something that makes your heart fill with joy. There's frost on the ground. What? Winter came early? The first winter's frost. <laughs> and the denizens of Mossflower Wood always know it as one simple sign. Asmodeus poison tea leaks hey, during the winter. Yeah. And you are instantly super happy. <laughs> Oh, so happy. And it's so cold. The- oh my gosh. <laughs> now I have to start thinking about winter clothes. Ugh. So we need to go find a tailor. And you you also know that this um this time of year is chat for Yule. Y L E Yule. It usually comes with a large <clears throat> A large feet? Feast. Okay. Yeah, you were kind of breaking cutting out. Basically, um, all the woodland creatures come to Redwall Abbey for a large feast of, like, family time and time of togetherness and just celebrating, celebrating life. Because they know it is time for the most, one of the most dangerous creatures on the planet. It's time for him to sleep. For a good long while. <sighs> and for now, it's time for a... Time for celebration. No time to, you know, do stuff in the winter time that normally people can't do because of asthma. Oh dear, I forgot to ask if they were needing help in the gardens yesterday. Oh, I'm so glad I picked those herbs yesterday. Oh, all the frostbit. Friends, yes. That as you walk down to breakfast, you smell some particular that's bringing your nose tension. We do are cutting out again. <laughs> Can you hear me now? Well, yes. Yes. At the very beginning. <laughs> okay, then. So, um, oh, uh, you smell a strong scent in, in, in the air. Something that brings back your childhood that you spent with Sunflower. 
hazelnut too. Oh, then and I know you, what I'm going to do. And it only comes during one time of the year. That's Yule time. And as you realize that, can I make, uh, can I get an intelligence for you? Religion? <laughs> intelligence throw. Sorry. Oh, I you thought got... you said religion. I was like, no. no. <laughs> Seriously. I, don't I know, know I need to get a new plug and everything, but it's not that bad. And my brain, is it a saving throw or is it just intelligence? Check? Just intelligence. Just intelligence. Yep. I just okay. <laughs> uh, so uh, what happens is no, I'm not. you you basically go about your business. And as you are eating the hazelnut stew that your adoptive parents used to make you during this time, as you swallow your first spoonful, nearly spit it out as you realize something. It's your time. And that means Asmodeus is asleep. <laughs> <laughs> it just took you a while. <laughs> My brain wasn't awake. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. It took you to swallow something in the form of food for you to actually realize, wait a second. <laughs> no, I wouldn't cha- spit it out. With I the chat of everybody else saying it around him. <laughs> Even though there's like dick of like, of like, uh, of like notifications of like, it's super obvious around you. Like, like no joke. Like there's like a cake, like literally sitting five feet in front of you. But before you take your first bite, it's like of a sleep in a burrow and you don't even register it in your brain until you take your f- it's that bad <laughs> so that's when my character just raises his arms in sweet sweet victory <laughs> <laughs> yeah <coughs> paulus it is very early in the morning very chilly and so is, is it like a little bit snowing or is it just frost it's just frost on the ground sadly in this area it doesn't get snow it's up a little bit more north no, actually, that's not true. Really? You told me it was. It may be a tropical area, but I was wrong. Oh. I recently, uh, yeah, I recently read uh, a um a book from Brian Jake. I've been pronouncing his name wrong, too. Uh, but um, basically, uh, during the Yult, um, basically, it does snow a lot in Mothra Wood. All right. But yes, I will. I will fully admit when I'm wrong. So it's just I've never saw that book before, and I saw that book a million, so I had to. I had to get it. Good read. Yep, I love reading. So anyway, um, so um, as uh, you go out, it's very, very cold, very, very frosty on the on the ground. You hear your like uh. Well, Paul doesn't like, know what's going on. This is like a first experience for her. Uh, but um. As your paws like touch the ground, you back. Hello. Huh? Hello. Hi. There you are. So as your paws are touched. Uh oh. Is he? Yes. Someone Hello? must have been messing with the microwave again. Or yeah. We believe in you, Rosie. I am here. Kill the person okay. with the microwave. Are you sure? <laughs> yes. Okay. Because if I have to start this little shindig again, oh boy. <laughs> anyway. As their paws are touching the ground, you like uh, you can feel the um frost like making little slight cracking sounds underneath your paws as your feet are touching the frosted grass. Um, and um, go outside and you notice that rats outside of Redwall are all huddled around um fires and everything. Um, well, I, I guess I try to like fight against the cold. Well, it's not that chilly. It's just slightly chilly. It's n- not like super cold, but it is like there is like nip in the air, you know. Oh, okay. I um, yep. I, I just came up to them with the food with the food in my hand. Hi, guys! I brought breakfast. Some of the rats just, you know, some of the rats don't even pay attention. Some of them like are already eat. You see, um, Looney and his captains are all huddled around one fire. And you see, uh, Clooney is, um, as what looks to be a map, is pointing out sections of the map. And you see that his captains are playing, paying close attention. I, I want to sneak up behind him, startle him. Jack. Hi, Clooney. What Delt you doing? Delt. Delt Jack. Yeah, I, I'm, I'm getting the, I'm getting the thing. You can do it. Did I do it? It's... Yep, it actually Ooh. did. Wow. Nice. 21 stealth. 21 stealth, not bad. Hi, Clooney. What you doing? 
He has to roll to see if yeah. he sees you. <clears throat> Looney is unfazed. Oh. He slowly turns around. Hello, small one. You know my name, Looney. Yes, but it's more fun if I do that. Not that small. And you see that a uh, couple of his officers not see you coming. Uh, Kyo Kuni uh, actually was one of the people who actually saw you coming, but he wasn't phased. Always watching. Um, always watching with me one around. eye, uh, <laughs> he saw you coming. He's just, he's always like this, so. I hand the meat a quest song. Let's see here. Uh, Red Tooth, Dark Claw, and Skull Face oh. are the ones who also saw you coming. Wait, from Fangburn. Um, Cheese Thief, uh, 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 along with two others that seem to be twins uh, that you have not seen before, <clears throat> um, are clearly startled by your sudden appearance as the two, uh, as Cheese Thief, like, goes, goes, like, a few steps back, but the two twins actually fall flat, flat on their bums. I'm sorry. I help them up and give them both a croissant and a hug. Reach for them, and you just hear Cloney's like, Come nose, frog's blood. It's your beast's back on your feet. As he spits to the side. Mm, definitely twins. Well, yep. <laughs> well, I give each of his captains a croissant and a hug, and I I, I just hand Kill Cooney's his without a hug. It's like, there you go. Die. <laughs> uh, Excuse me? No, it's like, you go die. Next to uh, he, 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 uh, he takes the croissant, specks it very closely, proceeds to squeeze it a little bit too hard, and custard flies into his eye. Oh my gosh, are you okay? Why did you do that? I, I try to wipe it off his eye. As he basically screams, Get away from me! As he proceeds to uh, strike at you. If my ears could droop any. Sorry. Don't you guys uh, as fun? You ta- since doing an unarmed attack, you're only doing one damage. Oh, he ro- as he, he backhands her? you. Ooh. Yeah. He rolled high. Yeah, that's when you deck him back. <laughs> oh, oh Paul is just like shocked. Sorry. I- I'm just gonna like sadly trot back in- into Redwall. Okay, Vince, you are uh sunflower. You are by this time in like the Great Hall. Yes. As I see, him, as I see my sister, I hold out a bowl. <laughs> Come eat. <laughs> you see him holding out a bowl of hazelnut stew. Uh, sunflower, as you take your first like spoonful of this delicious stew, something happens. You notice something about the stew. This tastes exactly like your mother's recipe, like to the letter. You even see like the bit of sage she puts on top. Sunflower you... just sit there for a long period of time without taking another sip. <clears throat> Looks like her brother. It's like, what? So I'm like, his, his intelligence had, did not rival that high, so he does not notice. What? It's good. Without yeah, looking some... back to the kitchen, she's going to grab her brother's face and then snap it towards the kitchen. <laughs> what? As she looks back there. Uh, no one's back there, but you. But Vince, you abruptly hear a very gentle a voice going, Hello, my beautiful, beautiful children. Huh? Oh, boy. Turn to see who that is. Unflower, it's your mother. Yep. Uh, hi, Mom. <laughs> hey, Mom. Was it a nice surprise? Yes. I did you see it. Vince hug? No, you was up. coming here. Well, we wanted to surprise you, dear. And I got a special gift for my special little girl on her special day. And I'll polish you come into the room and you your special day. <clears throat> and Immediately she, pr- she proceeds to produce to you on uh, a little, a little, um, little, um, log with a little on it. And you see there's a little hatch. Happy birthday, my dear. Okay, I only heard half of that. Can you hear me now? Ow! It just, each time you go soft, it cuts your voice off. Look, I can't help it. I go, like, one inch away from it, and it's like, I'm sorry, I'm going to be the bad. Sorry, I would set up your microphone settings, but I can't. Oh, I, 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 I need a new plug, is what I fucking... Has it hasn't been more than a minute before we curse, right? Anywho, uh, so, uh, she gives a log with a bow on it. Oh, I my thing. 
again. He's like, happy birthday, my dear. Oh, thank you. And Friar Hugo happens to be passing by and he just freezes. Eldo. Did I hear birthday? Uh, no, no, you did it. It's totally fine. She tries hey, to... ladies and gentlemen! Oh, dear. Oh. We have a birthday over here! Apollos has this, like, gleam in her eye. Did I hear birthday? And I play happy birthday on my on yes. my bagpipes. All I play song on my bagpipes. And I'll polish. Happy birthday to you. Happy ah. birthday oh. to you. Happy oh. birthday, oh. dear oh. Rosu. Long character. Happy birthday <laughs> to you. I'm using her handle, so screw you. <laughs> I was using character name because it's realistic. <laughs> Happy birthday! Starts playing song on bagpipe. Did I roll? Oh, that yes, one. I, uh, so performance. That was you. You do wait. A oh no, job. that was the first one. Ha. Huh? Yep, you do a decent job. Uh, and oh, as good we thing. go from there, and Ozu Sunflower. Did I say? Yeah. <clears throat> People at home, I'm not sure you'll be able to see this, but she can tell you what is going to be happening. Here is going to be my present, Rio. <laughs> I'm switching on my camera. Oh. Can you see me on Discord? Yep. Okay. See what I am holding. No. Nope. You can't white... see what I'm holding. No, because white paper doesn't show up well on camera. But you can see the paper. I can see the paper. There's something on it. Other than that, I can't see it. Rio? Hey, handsome. <clears throat> Sorry. This, this is 32 pages. This are the character sheet of Valif. What? 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 Why are you destroying your boy? What? He has more incarnations of them anyway, so it's fine. I only have four left today at four. But this is my birthday. This is my birthday present to you, Rio. Oh my god. So you have been so kind to me. And you've been a friend. You deserve nothing left. <laughs> but you destroy your own creation. He can you still have more. <laughs> he can make more, too. And also, no, I will give you my absolute word that I will not create any more. You don't iteration. have to. Oh, bloody. I've been so thinking about Philip for the last couple of days because I've been reading a comic book that reminds me of Philip. That picture I uh, showed you on Overlord? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That there's a comic book, and there's character acts almost like Balaam, but in somewhat of a hero way. But, um, basically, this is my gift oh you my guys, gosh. to you, specifically R R Rio. I just destroyed three years of my life. Oh my gosh. But we only know each other for two years. Why? <laughs> I, I know, but you're a good friend, and you deserve this. He just killed a shit ton of Valifs. Yes. <laughs> he did. I'm guessing killing even one would be an eight. So, it's uh, super hard to do. I mean, imagine someone that's harder than Tiamat. Yeah. He doesn't know who Tiamat is. Okay. Tiamat is a multi-headed dragon. Yeah, no, um, I, I I know a good handful of the beasts and the end. I do know who Tiamat is. Okay. Oh, okay. I wasn't yeah. Okay. I even okay. picked up the expression Tiamat's tith. Pits and teeth. <laughs> uh, but anywho, uh, this is, is my present for your early birthday. Oh no, it's gosh. not till tomorrow, but this is my present to you. I also will be giving you my absolute word right here and right now that when we do finally launch that pirate campaign, if you're a part of it, I will not put in my baby boy. Look, I am fine if you do. I'm just telling you, if you do... I am playing an evil character since he's going to be good. <laughs> uh, this my present. Though. Yeah. I hope you like. You really did have to. Oh my gosh. That's how good of a friend you are. I appreciate it. Oh my gosh. <laughs> uh, but anywho, uh, Friar Hugo goes into the back and quickly whips up something, and he proceeds to come back with a creation that he's been tampering with. Produces a very small, very level cake. Places it down. Like, go on, try it. Uh, so early in the morning? She Just says that uh, she's still kind of blushing and trying to hide her face from everybody. I mean, on, if you don't eat it, it, I will. No, 
Anna Nicole, she has a This is her birthday gift. Okay. If you get me a slice, okay. Oh, it's already been sliced. All right. She goes and As takes you, a bite. So I've been tampering with this for a good while, and I've been rewatching both the um, TV show, reading the books. So they do have this that is capable of doing this. He just invented cheesecake. Okay, now I dislike you because this is my favorite cake. <laughs> and believe it or not, it is my birthday cake. Aww. <laughs> evil, evil, evil. I but, love my, uh, I have cheesecake for my birthday tomorrow in the freezer nice. waiting for me. Aw, that's great. I'm 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 glad I can can make your character happy too. <laughs> it is beyond delicious, by the way. Oh, I bet. Oh. As you first bite into something. it, you automatically start keeping the rest because it's so. Oh, sunflower, calm down. You don't want to chill. <laughs> One moment. Mm. Oh. <laughs> is it delicious, my dear? She nods as she's. I'll actually go for a second slice. <laughs> <laughs> this is the first time we've ever seen Sunflower so happy. <laughs> well, the best thing about cheesecake, it's best when it's uh, somewhat frozen. And since it's frosty outside, oh, I'm guessing yeah. it's really good. I should take some less lessons from you, right, Hugo. Oh, my dear. If you want to, just, just forewarning, you might be as... Pat's his very rotomic. You might become as round as me. <laughs> I think it's worth the risk. That can make my friends happy. Oh, and you, you tempt a what? You tempt a piece. Yes. It's just like cheesecake, and this is both of your. This is the first cheesecake ever invented. So neither of your characters have had this, but it is beyond delicious. But she is Ow. going to turn to her mother and says, "I'm sorry. This is probably going to be my." Favorite cake. Oh, don't worry, my dear. I'm already. She is as she's talking to you. She's already getting Fry Hugo to write down the recipe. <laughs> <laughs> Apollo's peer is over to try to memorize it, so he doesn't have to write it again. You peek over. Uh, can I get a? Okay, so Fluffy, I could use your help. Like, what kind of role would it be? To Investigation. To memorize something. There? To memorize something that's either. Well, to more memorize it, it's an intelligence-based thing normally. Mm -hmm. So that would either be an intelligence check or an investigation, technically, could all. My opinion. Investigation. Investigation it is. Did I do it? A Give it a moment. Un momento, por favor. Okay, it's not responding. Mm -hmm. Try it again. We believe in you. Okay. <clears throat> uh, hello, investigation. It's not responding. Do you want me to help? Yes, I'd give up at point. Okay. I'm something from the palace. That does not sound like a policy at all. No. Like, that sounds like a... Mama. Schmeagle. No, I was thinking <laughs> Lord of the Rings. Um, yeah, Schmeagle. Uh-huh. Oh, oh. I guess I failed. I I rolled a three for you, sorry. May have to get the written down for. You know, that this is why I this is why I don't have you roll for me. Because <laughs> <laughs> every time you roll for me, <laughs> it ends up turning to shit. Uh, try re reloading your roll 20. It might be that it's frozen or something. It happens sometimes. Uh, okay. But since Mama's here, is Papa here? Uh, you, you, um, uh, as you that question, you hear a very familiar grunting sound coming from behind you as <clears throat> you see your dad is dragging some in. Oh, boy. And you see him pop it down on the floor <clears throat> as he, um, is present for you. Where um, he brought in what looks to be a, is the rarest flower in moss flower, period. And it is your namesake. It is the sunflower. Uh, yeah, I'm here. We've been cutting out through that, man. Just letting you know. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> ow, ow, huh? my ears. Ow. It's because I'm getting pissed. Sorry, man. <laughs> I thought she was laughing Sorry. because she rolled. Sorry. Finally came through. Yep. <laughs> so he drank in the sunflower. Oh. Swear to God, if it doesn't start responding like regular, I'm going to throw a fucking fit. Fucking fit. Can you hear me? Am I responding to you? Yes. Can you hear yes. what I'm saying? Yes. 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 
happen, hopefully, my duel. <clears throat> but yes, you got uh, a sunflower. Uh -huh. Now, it's not like other, not like the typical sunflower that you are familiar with. So not yeah. the ones that we grow on the farm. Uh, this one is basically um, uh, your true namesake um, because they named you after a super rare flower. Uh, so basically, it's not one word. It's two words on flower. Oh. Yep. Um, it is a very vibrant red, but like coming from like the from the center of it. Uh, it it's more reminiscent of like, a, are you familiar with like dragon's tongue from Skyrim? Yes. Okay, imagine like that setup of like a flower of what it looks like. But uh, coming from the stem, it has a very vibrant red. And it slowly fades into a velvet. Ooh. In this world, there's actually two different types of sunflower. Your namesake is actually named after this particular one. Ah. And this particular breed only grows in one place. Balamandastron. Here, the volcano of the Badger Lords. Would she know this? Everyone in Sunflower, uh, uh, in Mossflower, knows of the Badger Lords. And, uh, and, Except um, for Opalis, because memory. Yep. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> but basically, you know that there are super rare in flowers that only grow around Solomon Astron, and that the Badger Lords are incredibly protected. What? Where did you get? <clears throat> oh my gosh! If it was for my little girl, I would call in that favor. Vince is just like favor. Did you get favor? Uh, this. Do you know how it's much a... this costs? Did you? Oh my gosh! Don't tell me you. you well, sir, the I harvest. Didn't buy it. Oh good. I didn't. I didn't. I didn't buy it. Wait, you the didn't go Lord out. Him, what? The badger lord him. Let me finish. Sorry. Badger Lord himself owed me a favor. I saved his life. I was choking on some fish. Now you made hard for happen? yelling. When did you ever leave the farm and head south? Oh, no, 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 dear. Like, you, you see, what should I put? Badger Lord was at our abode for a time. We found him injured and alone. Oh, we took care of him. And he owed us a favor. He did have a worry face, then she just smiled and sighed. Well, that does sound like what you would do. She said, kind of looking at her brother. Gives you a smile. Gives you a smile and your face, your cheeks are out with cheesecake. <laughs> <laughs> hey, at least I'm giving you a funny image. Oh, thank you. Oh, oh boy, I'll have to see. I think I can preserve this for, with the book press. Oh, I don't want to lose this. Oh, it's no worry, my dear. It was my pleasure. Thank you, and she goes up to her papa and give him a kiss on the cheek and give a hug to her mom. Do I get a hug, dearie? Well, okay. She gives him a hug. You give a strange person you've never met a hug. Oh, wait, I thought that was her father. No. <laughs> uh, who was that? You are currently hugging the... Oh, shoot. No take backs. <laughs> no takey backy. Okay, she freeze for a moment and look to see who she accidentally hugged. You are currently hugging a well, a very well built muscles rippling underneath his shining armor, scars all over his face. A giant axe is ha hanging off of his back. You see a very young badger lord. Standing Whoa. as you hear something smashed to the ground in the distance. Uh, as uh, in, in Opalis Sunflower, can I get a, a perception check? Uh, I'll try. Uh. <coughs> Ooh, Sunflower, nice. I believe. It's not so much. Only whenever I believe in myself, damn it. <laughs> <laughs> the dice is like, this is what you get. Oh, well. I'm too busy eating. Yeah, it's still loading to me. But I don't want you. I don't want you doing anything. <laughs> so is it? Right, uh, what well, was it again? Insight. Perception. Perception. Oof. Hey, yeah. There we go. All right. Um. Oh, Paulus and Sunflower, you are the only ones to actually see this, since you do not catch it in time. As you see, um, uh, Constance walked in the room, drops the plate that she was holding, quickly runs around the corner, and you see. Under her patches of black and white fur, you see 
patches of red forming as she just stares, peeking around the corner. Oh. <laughs> Apollos kind of does the same thing, just like like stares with a little patch of dusting across her face, just like. Oh. <laughs> yeah, yeah, this badger oh. has a six pack. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> oh. oh no, it's no worry, my dear. It is your special day. She quickly looks to her father, like, "Did you know he was here?" <laughs> kind of look. Uh, he he looks at him, looks at her, shrugs, like I didn't know he was here. <laughs> and you just see you just see her, his her mother just was somehow behind your dad and just uh, basically Gibbs from NCIS slaps him upside the head, just and he's like, ah. <laughs> That's where Ruth, that's where Sunflower got it from. Yes. <laughs> Other. <laughs> Wait. Um. Huh. So if Sunflower and Vince's parents are there, are Apollos' parents there? Um. Oh, that they are your parents. I don't know if they're my parents, but they would know if I'm their kid or something. I don't... Let me make a check really quickly. Okay. <laughs> nope, they are not currently here. Well, uh, it, it's a great honor uh, to meet you. <laughs> Certainly wasn't expecting a hug today. Uh, sorry. <laughs> uh, would you like some cheesecake? What is cheesecake? It's roller gun. Vince, you, fr- uh, yeah, Vince, really you just now re- <laughs> Vince, you just now register that there is a badger lord in front of you. <laughs> you just hear, it's really good. <laughs> Vince, don't talk with your mouth full. I grab a nap and then dab his chin. As you Some flower that, nuts. My, gonna, you grab your hand, and I'm just going to go, no, no. <laughs> no, I don't need to be painted. Do not talk with your mouth full. She's right. Yes, it is only polite table manner. I'm sorry for the, as he, like, gets down on, like, uh, like, a, one, a hand and knee, like, he was like, I'm sorry for starting, yeah. We badger lord don't normally visit the wall, as our duty is to protect Almondastron, but I'm here on my good friend, Captain Snow, requested I be here. He kind of gives a shiver at the Captain Snow bit, but she's like, oh, you're friend oh, of, friend of him. Okay. Oh. Hello? Hi. Give him Hello? a moment. He just... Keeps on fucking... Entertaining. Hello? He's back. Hi. Can you hear me? Hi. Yes. Sorry, like the slightest of like the plug-in will disconnect. Oh. I need a new plug. <coughs> Anywho. <coughs> oh. I am actually here to help, and then I will be on my way. Oh, do you mean the, um, she tried to register everything in her brain? The spider in Beth Station. No. Oh. I came here personally to deliver something that's been long do as he proceeds to stand up and a motion or like motion at the door with two two fingers and you just see um three people walk in and these three people are dressed in merchants clothing these people these merchants were held up by bat i happen to be nearby so i delivered them safely um so um the badger lord uh uh, uh, and, uh, at first, uh, bids you farewell, but notices something out of the corner of his eye, and he, uh, slowly walks over, um, Constance, who failed her stealth check, <laughs> uh, is quickly spotted. I wave to her. Hi! She has not noticed you. Constance. Uh, yeah, she has not noticed you. Yep. Her attention is way too focused on the badger, badger lord. Who currently has her paw in his. Well, hello there, young lady. As he proceeds to gently kiss her paw. Can we all oh. imagine we're going to ooh, all in the background? And for the first Wait, time like ever. Romantic music. <laughs> for the first time ever, Vince and Sunflower, you hear <laughs> Stop. I wish to play some romantic music. You just see Vince with the popcorn and like holds out. Popcorn does not Popcorn, exist. you mean the cheesecake. I know, I'm joking. Oh, romance. <laughs> you did a really good okay, job. Okay, so so you you're familiar with like that 
And the yes. sound in those movies. <laughs> no, not that. <laughs> I learned how to play that on a trumpet. Uh, but basically, uh, poor Constance is beyond flustered as um, the young badge of Lord you produce um bouquet of flowers from seemingly out of nowhere and he gently chick uh, kisses Constance on the cheek <laughs> she giggles like a little schoolgirl and proceeds to run off Opal just has this shit eating grin as she continues playing the romantic thing oh my <laughs> Vince is just like this was entertaining uh Vince you um you're busy <clears throat> and you feel eyes upon you get a perfect Deception check? Okay. Okay. Oh, oh, oh man. You do That's, not notice. Uh, do not notice. Okay, we'll go on from that a little bit. <laughs> oh, that's so I sad. <clears throat> Sunflower, not you notice... You, uh, 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 well, I can't really tell Vin. Uh, uh, Sunflower, um, notice that the um, the um, merchants who are setting up, they all have different, like, classifications. You see, one is like a like a merchant who does business in herbs. Uh, you see one that does business in armor. Um, another one uh, does business in like uh, food. Food. Yeah, exotic food. Spices and stuff like that. Butter. I know, yeah. Exotic butters. More like nutmeg. Actually, mm. butter would would be exotic. Oh yeah, because moss flower wood wouldn't be necessary for. Oh yeah, cows. Hmm. No, cows don't exist in the world. There's goats, yeah. though. <clears throat> Where do you think the cheese yeah. comes from? Well, I was hoping cows. Actually, cheese. in this world, it was explained by actually the creator that they actually have a plant that they milk. Almond. And that's where they get it. Almond milk, yes. <laughs> yeah, they also get it from there, but they also have goats. A very what? distant. <clears throat> so Vince is just like, I don't notice shit. Just yeah. the Next three vendors? Good. Uh, but uh, you see the three vendors are all uh, 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 two of the people who basically advertise their wares are, uh, you know, normal mouse folk. Uh, and the <clears throat> third one who seems to be doing business in like um, armor and weaponry is a this is uh, the first time it's going to do campaign, but it is an otter. Ooh. Water be odd. <laughs> Not water, water. <laughs> she made a joke. No, I made a. Makes sense. Yes, it does. Oh, it doesn't. She said water. The no. Odd. I said water. water. I said. But it doesn't otter, make sense. <laughs> otter. <laughs> but it wouldn't make more sense if you said water. The odds. Water. The odds. Not otter. The odds. Otherwise, it doesn't make sense in my grammar Nazi brain. <laughs> Nine. Nine, nine, oh. nine. I'm putting my foot down. It doesn't make sense. It does. Oh, it doesn't. <laughs> you just don't appreciate. You have to use it correctly and in, the, in the correct, the correct gram grammatical sense. No, <laughs> it's too much of a fudging stretch. Nah. Rio, you're on my side, right? Yeah, I am. I am also. I have the final course. say. <laughs> uh huh. Uh huh. <clears throat> Anywho, besides the terrible you run grammar and not the correct contextual sense uh, you know what shut up we'll get back to the story <laughs> yes like by the way rio yes out of out of character it actually picked up you finally realized it oh no 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 like like the wilhelm scream during during the overlord campaign oh yeah I it totally did video. It picked it up. Oh my god! It made it made my fucking day. <laughs> yeah, I went over several times. Uh, I was like, okay, uh, yay! I didn't have to enhance it or nothing. It came out perfect. It was good. oh, that was not good. Oh shit! But I made that my my text notification. <laughs> oh, talk about taxi. Oh, anyway, um. Uh, uh, as they are setting up, um, a sunflower, you notice that, uh, one of the people setting up, not paying attention to her mouse boss, and person is just staring headlong into your brother. Is it a good stare or a bad stare? Perception check. 
Okay. Uh... Wait, more like insight check, actually. But it... Ooh. Um. Yeah. It's like uh, it's the bedroom eyes that Nala gave. Oh. oh. Um. Who? It, it's a mouse that is doing this. No, I okay. never said what it was. What is it? It is an Arctic fox. Oh. <laughs> oh. Oh. <clears throat> Never mind, I didn't have a realization. <laughs> I'm <laughs> going to watch a close eye on her. You see, like, the mouse, like, who has been trying to get her attention and suddenly claps it. She, like, realizes what she was doing and she hurriedly, like, sets everything up and everything. But I bet you, like, yeah, catching. Glances. Yeah. So she's making bedroom eyes at this. Uh, Emotion to, to Vince that has his face nope. stuffed with he doesn't know this hazelnut stew. Yep, he's Food dripping down eating. his chin and all. <laughs> no, I, I haven't been talking, so it's not dripping. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, v- Vince, Vince, you are currently like, uh, like as she's saying this out loud, you're currently eating the crunchiest damn piece of like food that you can like it is such like it's like toast but super like crumbly and crunchy so you don't hear a word of it. so i don't hear shit oh lord <laughs> yep <laughs> if you were like, wondering you're... earlier i had to mute myself to indefinite myself to uh, get a call oh we know yep. which is fine because um, you didn't know what was going on anyhow well i think i'm not that badly perceptive man <laughs> sure, well yeah. he did you did roll a five and this was for the five swear to god if people came on you okay? Sorry. As the morning tends to crawl along, um, uh, your mom wants some flour. Open up your present. Okay, okay. She goes and starts opening up the present. Uh, you open it up, and it is it is a ham or herbalism kit. Oh wow! And you see that there is a pouch right inside that includes some. Com- oh gosh. So I traded some of the old tools that we no longer use, and I got you this. You- Vince, uh. clean your face, young man. <laughs> I, I'll i swallow, then I'll clean my face. And by the way, my character by this point is probably full. I'm not gonna lie. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Now, if during oh, this Yule season I see you with a messy face again, there will be consequences. How long are you guys staying? Oh, we're staying through the winter. Oh, so... Who's watching over the farm? Oh, it would be Mother and his family. Well, technically, he's not brother, adoptive brother. Our family has a bad habit of adopting people. Sunflower nods a little bit. Vince is like, we had another brother? <laughs> no, I have a brother. Oh, sorry, you cut out on me for that part. Yeah, uh, your mother has an adoptive brother. Yes, ah. um, he is actually a daughter. He is watching over the farm for us. Oh, okay. So Vince finally looks around and he notices like all the shops. He's like, "Oh, hey!" Uh, <coughs> Sunflower kind of rubs her head a little bit. Well, it's great to have you guys. Slightly confused and nervous now that her parents are going to be around for a while. Yeah, honestly, Sunflower, we've been thinking a lot, and we just needed vacation from the farm. This is all. Speaking of, claps her hands together. I have a badger you, and she proceeds to go towards the infor- infirmary. Okay. This and is my dear, I, I promise, promise that we'll stay out of your way and not do too much to get away. You say that now, Father, but you know how things go, and this place is not the safest. She kind of looks out the window. <laughs> yeah, we saw the rats. It's unusual. Usually... You- Rats and ferrets are usually trying to take over Red Ball. He's one to protect it. She kind of leans in for now. I don't know. Well, Hello! Oh, um, hey, sorry. Sunflower Vince, we gotta go check something. Okay, uh, be back. She kind of scoots off to the side and... Vince goes, okay. He complete- Vince, I need another perception check from you. Johnny. Okay. Like I said, I probably at least noticed... Oh, there's shops here. That's yeah. one thing that is at least. Please. I finally stopped eating. <laughs> oh, I wish he didn't see. 16. Uh, 16. <laughs> you notice that there are a lot of shops 
Uh, you notice that there are three people that you can currently see in your vicinity working the shops. Uh, two mice and what looks to be an otter. Um, as I had a role for the other individual, she had to go off and get some more supply from outside the city. Ah. Plus, it keeps things more interesting. <laughs> <laughs> it does. So the pre the partial love interest. <laughs> maybe. Maybe, maybe not. I don't know. Who knows what's going to happen. Uh, as you guys are walking, seeing all the shops, uh, you notice that as soon as you guys get with an earshot, you start advertising stuff. They were silent before. They were like, get your herbalism kit, dearie. You could, you could get some more herbs. You know, that's right. Hey. Why don't why don't you come over here? We we got plenty of food over here. Or how about you get some new armor for your mates, matey? Hmm. Actually, Vince might actually stop by the dude with armor. Not gonna uh, lie. After Apollos, come on. Okay, okay. Um. Um. Do I know where the body or whatever the Asmodeus pup is exactly? Did Damien or uh, Hope? That's a great that? question. Intelligent. Intelligent. With disadvantage because you are currently metagaming. It is well, intelligence, intelligence check, not intelligence save. Oh, okay. uh, I got. Uh, did I do it? Oh, oh wait. Yep. <clears throat> yeah. In, yeah, you do remember that Asmodeus did buff up some near the wall. I said advantage. Um, so you go near the, like you don't remember that there's something Asmodeus coughed up. However. You see that there's a lot of shops, and can I get a perception check, please, Hollis? Yeah, yeah, I, I got it, I got it. Okay, uh, modify 20, nice. Uh, as you're looking at the shops, you do notice something shining out of the corner of your eye. It looks like something shining against the wall, and you see what looks to be frozen snake up chuck. <laughs> oh, um... And there's something inside of it. Did we get Damien to look inside of it? Did we take Damien with us? Uh, you didn't say so, so no. Uh, he's, no. uh, since he's not here, uh, and basically is not responding to any of our, uh, notifications, I'm going to have his character <laughs> against his will because he's not here. He's going to, uh, be pinned against the wall by the female squirrel he's being flirted with. Oh, gosh. My. <laughs> Uh, He's probably so, in there. What did Let's you want? Along. Is there something the matter? Um, well, uh, Vince, um, well, something happened at night, and we think someone stole a part of the stream or what? something. Yeah, and so much was going on that we, we keep getting sidetracked. We have to get back. Uh, that's I a think this is what it is, but I'm not going in there to check. Hey, Vince? Uh, pulls out dagger. Uh, okay, so. I'm cutting it open. Getting in there. Pull you guys over here. And once you all load up the screen, please no let me know. I'm here. Okay. I'm going to shift ping where you guys are at. Okay. So uh basically you cut open like the the frozen partially frozen spit and the smell of basically all like Asmodeus is a snake, so he can't necessarily like clean his door wash out his mouth or anything like that. So it is a putrid smell of decay and just all like the, every single animal he has ever eaten is oh. in the smell it is putrid. Do we have to do yeah. concentration checks? Yeah, I need a constitution saving throw. Oh, from okay, saving throw. Oh no. Oh boy. Oh no. Oh no. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> Give me a second. I gotta get them. Did I, did I do it? Yes, you did. Okay. Wait a second. Well, 20 is loading up still. Give me a second. I had to exit out of my character sheet. Constitution save. Yeah. Let's go. <clears throat> oh, uh, no. You all, you all fail. Uh, as you pursue, like, uh, uh, you don't necessarily so you keep your lunch. Oh, good, However, because I don't want to lose the birthday cake. It is a nasty, nasty, like, you're all, like, dry. You manage to, like, oh. uh, uh, I cry. Vince is just like, why do you make me do this? Why? Oh. You are, like you see your brother look at up at you. There's tears streaming down his face from you can barely see his face because you're also crying. But you all have like shot eyes that are cr just crying 
creatures from just the putridness of this <laughs> smell. All right, Vince is going to back away for a second. He's going to tie something around his mouth and nose. Something. Okay, you need to be more specific. Like, find something to tear something off. You need more specific. I, I tear a piece of cloth off my, my, okay. my arm. I'm putting some flowers I'm... next to my nose. <laughs> Uh, there are no flowers where you are at. No, for my birthday, I had a flower. Brought the whole pot? Well, no, I grabbed a couple. I was going to press a couple in a book. Hello, I am back. I have returned. Um, but basically, uh, you tie something around. It smells like you, so not bothered, and you, uh, see that there's something inside of, like, the frozen stuff. Uh. And you see a very soaked, very stained with blood and visceral and like just nastiness is the tapestry. Oh dear, that's going to Are take a while to where you fix. Pick it up out with like your fin- your two fingers and you just ew, yeah. ew, ew. Let's see. Like this, it, it is it, like you know that like, that smell of something rotting. Like, w- I, like when you hit a skunk, it's like worse. But you ever smell something that's like clearly <laughs> rotting away? Yeah. No. Nope. Yeah, it, it's base. No, I mean real life. Yep. No. Nope. When somebody hits a skunk, yes. They don't have skunks here. Oh, you're so lucky. <laughs> yeah. It's a terrible smell. Yeah. Trust us on this. You can smell it from miles away. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But Sunflower holds her nose is like, oh, what you three not be for cleaning? But I'm going to get a sewing I mean- kit. Uh, so I just made a natural 20 on someone's perception check. As you're holding this out and slowly going back to Redwall, you see a tiny mouse hand snatch it out of your hand. What, what happened doing? to it? What happened to it? It's so filthy. What happened to the tapestry? Now she's it's still Mortimer. on fire. <laughs> it's Brother Methuselah. It's Brother Methuselah. Vince um, just goes, Asmodeus ate it and spit it out. Oh, good heavens. Oh, you poor thing. I need to take care of you immediately. Starts running off with the tapestry. Oh, wait for me. Uh, I, gotta, I gotta go by so we get to... uh, She goes running to a vendor. I'm gonna go get Constance and tell her. Oh, found it. And Vince is gonna smell himself. Does it? Do I smell like it? Yeah. Uh, your yeah. entire paw and upper arm. Smells. I immediately go is, to a place where I can wash it. There is a. Uh, you see, there is a rain basin right by the church. The uh, abbey. Frozen. <laughs> it's very cold. Slightly frozen. Uh, where you see uh, ro- uh, other creatures of moss flower would like wash their hands. I go there then. Okay. Quickly uh, try you, to wash it off. <laughs> you go in there and you see that uh, right beside is like like uh like uh there's a pile of like slightly frosted uh, lavender where you uh, and, rub, like, rub, rub. <laughs> yeah basically <laughs> where you can like rub against your skin. To, it's by it's like pseudo soap for the like, they don't necessarily have the technology for soap, but uh, they so do have a Yeah, you can make um. Cold pressed soap. Yes. However, it's just that they, these creatures are very simple folk. They wouldn't know. Like they just got the stuff for like, and it's very rudimentary. They'll spend another. I believe they used yeah. to use animal fat specifically. But it it some. Takes, they it also use ghost takes, milk. Since it takes you about thirty minutes on scrubbing and trying to smell off, get the smell. <sighs> Your fur has never been so silky. Smooth. If, uh, Sunflower, we're going to a vendor. Yes. Uh, which vendor? I'm guessing the armor, because <coughs> he might have clothes, which means he might have a sewing Oi, kit. How are you doing, you little young lady? Uh, it, just a little bit of emergency. Do you happen to have a sewing kit? I do indeed, young lady. Oh, thank heavens. The better question is, matey, what can you trade for it? Well, I do have a little bit of money, um... Oh, a rare occurrence. Yeah, I've been saving. Uh, do you know, how much are you selling it for, My I ask? Well, depends on what kind of sewing kit you prefer. Uh, would you prefer for just clothing? Or would you like the... Uh, he proceeds to go beneath, uh, go beneath the rudimentary stand, and he proceeds to produce three little packets. And he's like... 
Would you prefer the more basic form that can only do clothing, or the second tier that allows you to do armor, or the third tier that allows you to sew flesh as well? Flesh? Aye, flesh. You know, being able to do, uh, mm. like, uh, uh, min scars and, and seal off bleeding. Oh, boy. All those things. That's what I've been saying. Very useful. Uh, can you tell me each price first? All right. This basic one right here points. This one will only cost you one copper. The mint one will cost you five copper. Well, actually, one silver. I meant one silver. And okay. the next one will be five silver. And then he's like, and this one will cost you one gold coin. Okay. She goes and pulls out two gold coins. I take all three. Oh, a good spender, I... Oh, I appreciate your business. I proceeds, much appreciate it. Like, proceeds to go beneath um, uh, the thing. Uh, proceeds to bring out a little coin purse. Starts counting off your change. And then he goes down, wraps up your stuff, um, and uh, ties them off wine, little cloth made out of uh, leaves and stuff. Like, here you are, and here be your change. Oh, no, you can keep the change. Um... Pretty sure I might come back. Oh, well, I appreciate it. I'll keep this on tab for you. Much appreciated. Uh, excuse me, I got do emergency sewing. <laughs> he runs off. Um, uh, Opalis, who, uh, huh? go to find, um, uh, Miss Con, uh, who is, um, can I get wisdom saving throw? I'm, I'm sorry, what? A wisdom saving throw. Oh, boy. It is so weird to put sewing kit clothing, sewing kit metal, sewing kit flesh. <laughs> well, yeah, well, all three have. Well, I want to give you the option. Like, like the, uh, like, you know, like, like those needles that you sew, like, basically. Oh, I know. <laughs> yeah, basically, this is relatively new stuff to them, so it's more expensive. Did I do it? Nope, Not yet. It didn't show up. <sighs> Try again. We believe in you. Does these sewing kits have limited uses, or...? Uh, you run out of thread, but that's probably about it. The needles should be good for a while. Probably dull. He is correct on that. Okay, how much so, thread do I have? You have... Did you... Are you having trouble? I can did I do it? A, nope. No. Um, uh, so, um, uh, you have enough thread, um, in both, in all three kits. Uh-huh. Or enough, or... A total of 12 uses altogether. For each kit or for all together? In total. In total. Okay. So four for each. Okay. Four for each. Okay. So, so make sure that... I am going uh, to do can, it. Yeah. Make sure you keep track of that um, because you will have to get more thread. Yeah. As... Did I do it? Oh, I'm changing into a polis. No, 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 no. Reload roll 20 real quick. Okay. Dan it, dan it, dan it, dan it. Please, no. Slowly scrolling down to your character sheet. There we go. Oh, I'm, I'm here, I'm here, I'm here, I'm here. Oh, <laughs> oh wow. <laughs> there it goes. <laughs> the did panic. I do it? Yes, yes, you did. <laughs> I think it's just, it freezes on you every now and then, so you need to refresh it. Just send it then. <laughs> Hey, at least it worked. <laughs> uh, that's one way to get, to get it to work is threaten me to do do it for her. <laughs> oh, well, it's definitely high. Okay, so um, you you uh, go looking for Miss Constance as uh she, uh, you round the corner. She is clearly uh being very passionate kissed by the Badger Lord. Oh, wow. <laughs> As he slowly retracts from her, she kind of like falls to the ground, sl slump, and he was like, I will see you later, baby. And she starts fanning herself violently. <laughs> I run up to her. <laughs> she does not re register your yet. <laughs> Constance, it's the tapestry. Uh, oh, hey. oh, 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 oh. I think we, oh, I think we found Martin the Warrior. The tapestry oh. of Martin. Oh, you shouldn't sneak up on a lady like that. I was right here oh, the whole gonna... time, Constant. Oh, oh, sorry, love. I didn't notice. So, how was the kiss? How was the what? The kiss? 
Uh, I make like kissing faces and. <laughs> um, uh, it was. Uh, uh, <laughs> let's go see the tapestry. Yes. It should be with where the Methuselah. Oh, that's that's good. We got. Uh, 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 oh, Mr. Boar. Oh, Mr. Boar. Evans. She's fanning herself, like clutching herself around her collarbone. She's like, oh, I missed it all. Um, you okay? Mm -hmm. Dear? Oh, I'm, I'm, I'm fine. I'm fine. I'm, I'm really fine. <laughs> I might have to take a cold bath. Right? Um, <coughs> uh, anyway, the top mm. As you guys can, uh, since you got done with your washing of the paw. Yay, I'm clean. Uh, can I get another perception check? Because I'm pretty sure you're curious about the, um, and... Do this. <laughs> Game says no. <laughs> Not wow. this time. Uh, so uh, you're very curious about the stands, and you kind of wander around, like looking at the stands. You do you go to any of the stands at all, or all with armor? Out? Okay. So you're there when um, some fire no, probably no, buy you, some you, stuff. No, 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 no. Remember, I, I'm 30 minutes left. later. Ah, oh, that yeah, is true. Oh, how you be doing, matey? I'm doing good. My character just goes, hmm, as I'm looking around. I want to see what he has. Uh, you don't see any. You do see looks to a book. See a book? Huh? Yeah, a book. It says catalog, and it's made out of bark. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Catalog. Vince, Basically Vince a menu me, of what he has is for. Yeah, fun yeah. on words. Then I go, I check out the catalog then. Uh, you see all, uh, you see a, uh, uh, what, you open up the book. You see uh, what he has. It is a very decent, like stock. Like you had, he has all sorts of variety of weapons and armor. I'm just perusing. Uh, does he sell tools? Uh, you do see what type of tools? Yes. What, what kind? type of tools? Oh, I thought you said uh one type. My bad. Uh, smithing tools specifically. No, he does not have that in stock. It says sold out. Ah. Oof. It it actually has the date of when it was sold. It was about a week ago. About a week ago. Right. Vince will go. Uh, I noticed you're out, out of stock on uh smithing tools. I grew. It be Are you <sighs> my character ask. I'm sorry. What? He's a smith himself, correct? Mm. Oh, I just be the merchant who sells it. Ah, dang. But there was a person who actually bought up the entire stock before he came here. He grabs, like, the piece of paper. He was like, let me see. He grabs a, a smaller piece of paper from underneath his desk. Start, uh, starts uh, rummaging through it. She armors. I hear be it. <clears throat> There's a thread of it. Let's see. Uh, smithing tools purchased by a general sage of the Long Patrol. Currently staged at uh, St. Ninian's. Ah. Hmm. Dang. Could you really use those tools? Not gonna lie. Well, St. Ninian's is not far arm. from here. Maybe you can barter with mm, Probably. And since it's the frost, won't be seeing that cursed, uh, like whispers to you behind a spa, cursed snake and I'm soon. As you see my character shiver at that name, or as he mentions the snake. I see you're afraid of Asmodeus too. Well, when you had an encounter with him and lived, yeah. Oh, you did too, eh? Yep. I used to be I used a team. Uh, I used to have a team of two others that used to be a fellow merchants of mine that used to sell things with me. They they take it. And for me, I was with a mercenary crew. He he, like all of a sudden he like pounds his paw on the on the desk like in a very angry. He was like, "Damn that shit, either. I swear that thing has been alive way too long. It get needs its just desserts." I need to pay for all the death it has sold. Yeah. <clears throat> Sadly, no matter how good our weapons get, none of them seem to harm it. But you have some pretty interesting slip the before you start to look through all the stuff. <clears> hey, <throat> here we go. Proceeds to point at a page. Mm -hmm. It's a set of armor. This might help you. Uh, you're cutting out. Can you hear me now? Yes. Hey. He points out a set of armor. This oh, might help you out. All right. <clears throat> what type uh, of armor is it? Uh, unusual. Because I happen to know a guy who knows a guy who knows a guy's dad who was uh, dad's. It was his dad's 
friends, cousins, aunts, former roommate. Mm. But anyway, came across this special little light, and my smithing friend, Arm, you are looking the only armor of its kind. You are looking at the shedded skin of Asmodeus poison on armor. Huh. Which, by the way, which you know about him, but I warn you, he has shed again. Since, uh, at this, uh, at this, end, there's a chill that runs down your spine as you know this information, uh, to be terrifying news because that means Asmodeus just got bigger. Back. But fortunately for us, fortunately for us, he is in hibernation mode, mate. We get a pre-spit from his hungerous rampage. Yeah, that's true. God. But how much would it cost this even cost? Or how much armor that? like this? Yes. Either you trade for it, or you give me gold. Hmm. Well, how much gold, specifically? If it wasn't gold coin. I have gold. I have gold? Hmm. Yes. And for an armor like this, like in this world, gold is me. So the fact that this armor costs that much, that is damn armor. Yeah. Especially this far south. Well, my character goes, for right now, I do not have the money for that. Nor do I think I have anything that I could trade for it, either. I be a pity. Oh, I tell you what. I tell you what. I'm willing to make a trade for it. What you thinking? Well, if I'm not mistaken, there are spiders currently in the Mothflower Wood, no? Yeah, we're actually tasked to kind of take them out, so... Well, that'd be good news. Oh, that, but that'd be good news. If you could get me, let's say, 50 of their fangs, I'll give you this armor. All right. And they need problem. to be at least adolescent of infant. Ah, so you need one of the more bigger spiders, correct? Hey. All right. I'm planning on, on making special weapon out of going to get my smithing and to make a special weapon. All right. That is going to naturally produce creatures venom that would be nifty <clears throat> hey but you get me those and we'll have a deal mister all right how long y'all staying for we'll be staying through the winter ah that's good we have enough supplies for the whole winter to stay here in redwall abbey all right that's good that, and i kind of and we kind of figured that creatures who are of the adventuring type would need our supply yeah most definitely Oh, there's one of them now. And I got in trouble with one of the vendors. Mm -hmm. As I look back, uh, you see a very beautiful pure white fox. Ew. You're just going to give him it. <laughs> I'm sorry, but I, I just have a feeling that he would fail the other perception check. Oh, Can I we just have him roll it anyhow just to see? I give up. <laughs> roll just to see. Oh, yeah, roll. I want to see the what if here. Yeah, the what if. <laughs> you fail! You fail! See? You fail! <laughs> the game is telling me just no today. <laughs> God damn. Jeez, crackers, holy shit. What is your this, perception today, Vince? I guess my this game is like, nah, we're gonna hate you today. It's like, <laughs> no, let's keep it like suspense for next time. <laughs> By the way, uh, we are low on time since we are ending it. 30, but um, let's get back to Apollos. Uh, you guys have arrived at Brother Methuselah's humble uh, room, and you see, uh, you smell it long before you get there, Apollos. There's mm. like burning candles, sage, lavender scent, like uh, the whole nine yards there. Like it smells very good. You just see like little billows of smoke slowly come. Um, Brother Methuselah? Yes, dearie. I, I brought Constant. Oh, oh, thank you. Oh, poor oh, Constant. It's good to see you. My, whoa, whoa, yeah, are you okay? You look a little bit frosted. Oh, oh, oh. oh she was having <laughs> some, some playtime with your boyfriend. <laughs> I will give you absolutely any. Shush. <laughs> anyway, but, uh, um, you were saying, uh, uh, you're here to see the tapestry. Well, I will. Uh, Constance, uh, we will need we will need both our hands to scrub this thing clean. That bad poison teeth swallowed it. Oh no wonder you're burning so many things. Oh, oh, I will get to work right away as she like rolls up her sleeve and like up to her shoulders, and you see, despite being 
being like uh, the wet nurse and the, the Abby's uh, marm, school marm, and basically a doctor kind of thing, she has very well toned muscle. I'm going to help you guys too. Oh, God, oh, oh th- thank you, dearie. If we would greatly. I said, thank God I'm not there. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Um, uh, okay. Okay. So um, I need you. Uh, Opalus, putting these guys and making a performance check. Finally, something I'm good at. I feel sorry for your character right now. You did not per- shit. <laughs> <laughs> Perform it. Did I do it? It's not coming. God fucking damn it. You love changing your Opalus. You were not doing this. Did I do it's, it? Nope, not yet. <laughs> I'm just teasing. <laughs> Take your time. Uh, oh, God. <laughs> Oh, poor Kong. Well, what happened? <laughs> nothing, nothing too severe. It's just he's slightly still like staring off into space because of what happened. I had to give her a disadvantage on her check. Oh, uh, wait, doesn't she have like um the magic skill prestidigitation? Prestidigitation? That helps um, clean. You are correct. Do you want to cast? Do you want to? Use your prestidigitation as a cantrip? Well, it's, since it's a cantrip? Yes. Okay. So, but, but, right. Basically, you're coming with them. Uh, so, as, you, uh, as you were trying, you abruptly, abruptly have an instant idea, and you you um, go into your pack, and you somehow forgot that this was there. You have what looked to be a, a very old rag, very spot, and then you proceed to grab it from... Constance's and start scrubbing it very, very rigorously. And as you squeeze this rag, uh, like the oils for uh, cleaning the uh, tapestry and everything, the smells start washing off into the basin and everything. It goes very quickly afterwards. And Brother Methuselah is very impressed. She knows how to clean. And you reveal it. It almost looks. It, it, it looks like it was just so gay. Like the tapestry is that clean. Looks like it was made today. Other Methuselah gives you a round of applause. And um, we go from there. Game for tonight. Mm-hmm.